<laughs> like to welcome everyone to Nina Hillsborough Council. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I will have personal appeal part one. If anyone has a personal appeal, approach the podium. All right, and we have no Zoom guests today, so we'll move on to community minute. Anyone have a community minute to bring forward? It was just a great last weekend with old fashioned Christmas. The open house was awesome. Saw tons of photos on Facebook, and um, you know, the newspaper took a lot of help. So I'd never seen the triangle so crowded. So much singing down there. So it was really fun. Nice to hear everybody who came out. How was the turnout for tours? Did we get good turnout? Yeah. Yeah, I, I, that's what I was going to say. I wanted to thank our staff. I mean, they did a phenomenal job here at Earl Hall. Um, the place shined. They gave great tours to, to everyone. Uh, Sarah Shane, of course, also, Madam um, Mayor, were here. And um, many others when we were giving tours. When you came to this park, did you say, this is where we raise your taxes? <laughs> <laughs> Just a joke. Yeah, but no, it was, honestly, it was a great night. I mean, the open house here, um, the staff just, they were phenomenal here. and They deserve to you know, give a little kudos, maybe even a little time off. Shane, you know, into the holiday. <laughs> yeah, right away. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thank you, Roy. All right, that leads, uh, we have no special presentations. That leads us to the reading of the minutes for November 20th, 2023. Somebody like to move the minutes? Councilman Bally, second by Councilman Hart. Any corrections or additions? All those in favor say aye. 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 As opposed, there are seven ayes. All right, decisions on bids. We have the parking lot loan. We have several loans listed here. And Shane was waiting for some confirmation around four o'clock. And he, I believe, has something to bring forward for us tonight. Yeah, I'm actually going to turn it over to uh, Councilman Dufresne. Uh, we uh, met with uh, on a conference call with the uh, prospective low bidder. Um, and so, uh, Mr. Dufresne, kind of detail things out for you because he'll be able to explain it uh, a little bit better. Thank you. So, we got what, nine? Uh, bids here, thanks. So that's good. But we had with Shane said we had a meeting today at four o'clock with effective low bidder here, and they answered all of our questions satisfactorily on here. So I'm recommending that make, I'm making a motion uh, to move forward. Ten community bank finance the parking lot loan, four hundred thousand um, dollars for a ten year fixed rate to so ten grand organization. At the formula that you see there, it's basically 70 times 70% 70 times the 10-year treasury plus two and a quarter um, is the interest rate. So I may put that in the form of motions. And and also, yes, to also Adam. move forward any ordinances that are necessary Thank in order you. to make this happen. All right. So is that all included in one motion then? Yeah, you all can right, do that. So there's a motion by Councilman the friend seconded by Councilman Hart. Any questions? So my question is, um, what is our actual payment? Is it what we budgeted? Is below what we budgeted? And, and the way I understand it, is it 10 years and it's paid off? And it's 10 yeah. years and it's paid off. Their interest rate doesn't lock in until we approve the loan because based on a rate, the tenure doesn't change that much in one day. So it should be somewhere around 4.5%, give or take, fixed for 10 years. That and that payment is about fifty-one thousand a year. I'm rounding off, and we're collecting the rent on the other side then, because we own the property. We'll be collecting rent from tenants there. So, you, so, yes. so your rent's about forty-two thousand. Yeah. So your net your net payment, you know, if you subtract out the rent, your net payment is forty-two thousand, which is is what is in your budget in okay. the in the uh, debt service. Thank you. Any other questions? All those in favor, say aye. All right. All right. Let's suppose there are seven nights. We get thank you for doing that, Chris. So uh we have uh, no communications part. tonight. We have no borough engineers report. Solicitors report. Uh the only thing I have is um the only thing I have is I'm preparing the Laguda paperwork for Shane's request now that this has been approved. 
important. And that will be for the next meeting? Yep, that'll be done for your next meeting. You'll be able to, uh, I'll have the ordinance over to Shane hopefully tomorrow, and you'll be able to advertise it. You'll be in good shape. That's good. I was looking for more things to read next week. Uh, well, I will tell Is you that. Is that the meeting where we have everything? Done? Yeah, Mr. <laughs> Mr. Dufresne will we'll definitely get our use out of him for his last council meeting. Right. Other than that, progress. Thank you. Uh, unfinished business part one. We have nothing on our new business. We have three new ordinances. We'll start with ordinance 1255, an ordinance amending the provisions of chapter one, part three, associations and commissions of the early mass consolidated code of ordinances to establish section one, historical commission. Before I ask for a motion, I'll, I'll ask for a little background on this because I know this has been ongoing for, well, maybe a decade, but the actual formation of a historic commission, maybe the last six months to 12 months where we actually formalized it, so. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna tar turn it over to uh, Mrs. Sorch McManaman. This is uh, this is something that she's been championing for a long time with me. So I think um, CRD just reviewed uh, the ordinance as well and went through everything. It is so satisfying to see um, the work with three historic sites and put together. They have such a great vision. I'd like to thank Shane and Sarah. Um, and as I, I said to Shane this last week, if it weren't for Shane's stick to itiveness, um, this would not have come to fruition. Um, it was needed, and it is just going to be a great thing. Not only grants, collaborative effort. Um, I think that now that prehistoric sites really understand what they can be as a larger or entity at, or with the chamber and funding. Or it's, it is just going to be a very good process. It will be a great process for us as well, since we won't get, or hopefully we will streamline requests that come through uh, the different historic homes, home museums. And I think it, it will, will also help. Uh, we talked about this a little bit at the last, the last commission um, planning meeting to try to um, really have the public understand what a commission like this can be for our community, not only uh, in identifying the historic properties, other properties that have value. Uh, look at our, our town now, um, you know, and our the homes that are still on Main Street that are original. So I think on, on a myriad of different levels, this is going to be great for, for the community. So, yeah, it was, um... I think once we got through the education with them of what the power of, of togetherness, you know, really means, I, I think once once they got beyond that, you know, and their eyes opened up and they realized, wow, we're missing the boat. And, and for example, um, membership. I mean, it's, it's the easy, like it's the easy, low hang, hang, like low hanging fruit. One of them has 30 members. One of them has 100 members. One of them has 1,000 members. Right, and so when you multiply that by twenty dollars a member, they raised twenty thousand dollars with very little effort to put into their house, their efforts, and like the other two houses have to say, like, well, "What am I missing?" Right, and, and so like, by working together, they can understand like how that marketing works, and and because there's people that are really good at history, right? There, there there's archaeologists, there's you're going to see people that apply to this commission that have a, a background in, 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 in history that is just amazing. But, you know, you're also going to see people that are in marketing that quite honestly, like the other houses completely miss. Um, and you're going to see people that are strong in finance, which, you know, a couple of the houses could have used. And, and so I, I think now that they're seeing like what each other has to offer rather than, hey, they're trying to take us over. Um, you started really seeing the collaborative approach by by each of the three houses that I was I was very happy with, and we kept them on task. You know, we had set agendas, we kept bringing them back in, um, and we got a lot of work done in in the last six months. So I, I'm I'm very happy with with how far they've come, and I I have uh, I have a lot of hope for what they're going to be able to. Uh, I didn't think of this until now, but. Uh... What is kind of like the timeline for advertising, taking uh, people that are interested in, in filling the positions, when the actual positions, will, their terms will actually start, and how are we overlapping them? Yeah, sure. So, um, so first of all, you, you, if, if, if you adopt this, you're adopting it this year. 
Okay, so so it'll be on the, the December 18th agenda. What we've told the houses is uh, for them uh, to start talking to their membership and getting a list of who their representatives might be. So that way the next council when they come and, and are set in January can really kind of take off. Um, and so if council adopts this on the 18th, our next step with that is also advertising for the at-large members and um, you know, and other people in the community. I'm I'm hoping uh well I'll tell you that the new the new Eastside Council, you're gonna have a lot of work to do early. Um so uh there's gonna be a lot of people uh that you'll be interviewing for commissions. I, I think um I think we'll see probably in, in December we'll start seeing the applications come in from the houses. That's what we asked. So that way in in January uh the new council can can get off the ground with them. But my hope is by March this commission will be up and running okay. is, is really the, the hope. And so, council's yeah. role will be appointing just the at large seats or uh, all seats. So your so your ordinance, uh, we made it very clear. Um in in the ordinance, what it says is the 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 representatives from the, the houses, right? The members from the houses, the house is going to re recommend them. However, you may borrow council will fully vet the members just like we do with everything else. So we'll run the background checks. They're going to have to turn in the application. They're, they're, they're qualifications. <laughs> Bless you. Um, just like you do. So you have the right to say, you know what, like, thank you for, for that person, but you need to select a different representative uh, if you so choose. Yes, John. Yes. One of the first many annoying questions when I first came on council, why do we have these three properties that we all three independent oversee? Um, it's given a big history of all three and public recognition. This was fraught with a lot of. So, congratulations. I will tell you, I have meeting minutes from 2013, 2014, 2016, 2018. We have, as, as Terry had alluded to, we've been trying. Um, and, and you're right, the political landmines that we were walking through. Um, and, and that's why in the last, I think, six months, you know, really kind of approaching it from another directive, you know, another another direction. And I think the other thing is, is a couple of them, let's see the writing on the wall. There's there's some struggles that they really need the help of of, of, of a larger organization um, to, to really help them with. I, I think I think they're they're starting to see that that's gonna be the way that they're going to be able to continue to um, do what what the community wants and what they want with the house. Thank you. Does anybody else have a comment before I ask for a motion? All right, motion to approve ordinance 1255. <laughs> Councilwoman McManaman, seconded by Councilwoman Baumgartner. Any discussion? So roll call vote. Councilwoman McManaman. Aye. Councilwoman Baumgartner. Aye. Councilman Anders. Aye. Councilman Valiot. Aye. Councilman Hart. Aye. Councilman Dufresne. Aye. Councilman Lehberg. Aye. Seven ayes on first reading and our second reading. You said we'll be next meeting? Yes. All right. And we have advertisers, sir. Uh, we will. It will be for the second reading. Okay. All right. Ordinance 1256 and ordinance levying taxes for the fiscal year 2024 for the Borough of Emmaus at the rate of 8.3155 mills pursuant to section 1310 of the Borough Code of the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania and a revenue neutral levy based on the 2013 Lehigh County tax reassessment split between the general fund tax of 6.4404 mills, a fire fund tax of 1.3961 mills, a special roads fund tax of 0.32 mills, and a street light fund tax of 0.159 mills. Would somebody like to make a motion to approve ordinance 1256? Councilman DeFrame, seconded by Councilman Balliot. Any questions or comments on the budget? I'll just say, as always, uh, we did it as a team, department heads, staff, everybody had input. And uh, as always, you know, we should be proud of what we accomplished. Uh, uh, it's much better than what I was expecting when we, when we started 
because I thought it would have been uh, revenue wise or, or um, expense wise, I thought it would have been a lot worse. So anyhow, I'm, and I think Shane, at some point you're going to release maybe uh, the summary of the of all the uh, you know breakdowns. Yes. Thank you. All right. All those in favor say aye. Oh no, I'm sorry. Roll call vote. Councilwoman McManaman. Aye. Councilwoman Baumgartner. Aye. Councilman Enders. Aye. Councilman Dalliot. Aye. Councilman Hart. Aye. Councilman Dufresne. Aye. Councilman Wafer. There are seven ayes. Second reading to be also the summary. The summary. And then our third ordinance for tonight is Ordinance 1257, an ordinance of the Borough of Emmaus, Lehigh County, Pennsylvania, amending Chapter 15, Subsection 602.3.A of the Emmaus Borough Code, amending the residential disabled parking sign and continuing to assign a permitted parking spot on a public street located in front of 36 North 6th Street within the borough of Emmaus. Uh, before we, before I ask for a motion on this, uh, Chairman Hart, we'd like to just give us yeah, that. This is a simple administrative change. This individual uh, has requested this already had parking space. Uh, she had a change in her uh, her APA placard, and thus we had to change the uh, the ordinance. Yeah, so, so, Attorney Albert, like, is there a way for so, so you know we, we have these personalized yes. uh, spaces, right? And instead of passing an ordinance and having to go through this every time something like this changes, because that's how that's how our our, our master ordinance is written. Correct. Is there a way for us to write an amended ordinance that to allows us resolution? just to yeah just to like do a resolution and fix an administrative thing for for an individual? You are the second municipality to ask me that question in the last month and the answer is i don't know because i'm looking that up for the borough of moton i will look it up for you as well i'll tell you what you charge them and then let me know the answer <laughs> the irony being the irony being yes because they asked first they will get yeah, charged perfect. first and you will get <laughs> I, mean, I think i do believe the answer is you have to do it by ordinance because i think that's what the state governing ordinance says but i will i mean it's not like a fee resolution where we can adopt it by ordinance once and then push it off to a resolution right i mean we're that said it, this is a, it is a waste of time. Well, yeah, we're, I mean, we're literally we're, we're passing an ordinance so we can change a sign that's this big on the yeah. bottom of a handicapped parking sign. And I think the answer to that is we have to do it by ordinance because that's what the state governing ordinance okay. says. But I will have an answer for you by the 18th. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you, Mo Moten, for me as well. <laughs> Councilman Hart, would you like to place that in a follow of the motion? Place that in a follow of the motion to approve ordinance 1257 by Councilman Hart. Is there a second? Councilman Valley, any questions? It's also a roll call vote. Councilwoman McManaman? Aye. Councilwoman Bob Gardner? Aye. Councilman Anders? Aye. Councilman Valley? Aye. Councilman Hart? Aye. Councilman Frank? Aye. Councilman Layford? Aye. There are seven ayes. Will this also be uh, yes. December 18th? So we'll have quite a few ordinances on the 18th. Unfinished business part two. We have nothing. Items not on the agenda. Does that any, anybody have anything to bring to you? Hearing none, Madam Mayor's report. I have nothing to report this evening. Progress. Thank you. Committee report. Public Works Committee. Chairman Anders. Thank you, Mr. President. We have nothing for official action this evening. Our next meeting is Wednesday, December 20th at 4 p.m. And with that, I'll report progress. Thank you. House Sanitation and Codes Committee. Chairman Balliot. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. We also have nothing for official action. Uh, our next meeting is scheduled Wednesday, December 27th. I have uh, report progress. Thank you. Parks and Recreation Committee, Chairwoman Bobgarter. Thank you, Mr. President. We have no items for official action. Our next meeting is tomorrow. Thank you. Public Safety Committee, Chairman Hart. Thank you, Mr. President. We already have my ordinance at 12 7. Uh, our next meeting is scheduled for December 20th at the PM. So if we have progress. Thank you, General Administration Committee. It's myself. Uh, uh, nothing to report. And our next meeting is listed as December 7th, but I believe you said we're not able to meet on the 7th. Um, well, I, I won't. I, I have to go talk about sewage uh, on the 7th. So. so we will not be meeting then that day. Uh, but I would like the GA committee to stick around afterwards so we can some days and times to meet. So uh, progress. Budget and Finance Committee, uh, Chairman DeFrank. Thank you, Mr. President. So you can see in your packet the proposed budget draft for that. 
ordinance there, and we have the bill list for official action here. So resolution 2023-31, resolved by Borough Council to authorize the payment of the December 4th, 2023 bill list as follows. Bill list $775,128.45, payroll number 24, $188,904.73, payroll taxes, $60,592.45, for a total of $1,024,625.63 done this 4th of December, 2023, and I put that in the form. Motion by Councilman DeFrane, is there a second? Councilman Hart, any questions on the bill list? All those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed? There are seven ayes. See the significant revenue and expenses for November in your packet. Also the budget performance report for 2023 year to date. And you have a meeting on Thursday, December 7th at 11 a.m. Zoom. And we will have that because we're talking about auditors. We're in your well, we're we're in the audit. The audit was our auditor. So we will have that uh, meeting via Zoom. So go ahead, Jim. Uh, just the, the top item, uh, we would ask that you would vote to advertise uh, the budget. The budget. So we're going to do it now. All right. So just to, just to advertise. It. Motion to advertise the budget. Motion by Councilman Dufresne. Second by Councilman Hart. All those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed? They're seven ayes. So unless there's any other questions, very poor progress. Thank you. Uh, Community Relations Planning and Development Committee, Chairwoman McMinnis. Thank you, Mr. President. We have nothing besides the Historical Commission first reading. Um, reading notes are from March, November 7th. It's in our next meeting, Monday, December 9th, at 4 30. Thank you. Uh, under 17, yet boards and commission meeting notes. Uh, personal appeal. All right, personal appeals part two. Anybody have a personal appeal? Please approach the podium. Hearing none, and we still have no Zoom guests, which leads us to Pro Manager's report. Uh, just one thing I hired Nathan Bleem uh, as a part time EMT. Um, he's been in, uh, as you'll see in his resume, he's been in the EMS uh, world for quite some time. Uh, he works for uh, EMI, the Emergency Medicine Institute, as an instructor, uh, which is actually advantageous to us as we continue to try to move forward with our, our education piece and training piece and certification piece. Um, but he wants to get back into, uh, uh, you know, the treatment part of the, the profession again. And so we're extremely excited to add him to, uh, to our staff. So welcome to Nathan. Other than that, I will report progress. Thank you. Under president's business, uh, Nothing other than just to verify that we are going to have a policy set up, come forward on the 18th on the uh, review, review process. So that will be coming forward. Uh, there's nothing for executive session. Is there a motion to adjourn? Councilman Thalia, seconded by Councilwoman McManaman. All those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed? There's seven ayes. Meeting adjourned at 623.